Okay, we're taking some pictures of the mechanisms that provide the action. That does two things. One, it locks the gear mechanically in place, assisted by an electrical magnet. And two, it brings the gear up, the gear doors up, excuse me, uh, as the, after the wheels have got in place. Okay, the first thing to notice is that there are large doublers that have been put in place. This is because we had to move the pivot points for the torque tube up a quite, quite a bit. Second thing to notice are the large support mechanisms that we've put in place to hold the torque tube because there'll be considerably greater loads on it. Next thing to notice is that we have a gear bracket for pulling the gear, uh, excuse me, a gear door bracket for pulling the gear door up. It's quite a bit more inboard than is standard and it's been changed in terms of its relationship angle and in terms of its uh, location. In behind that you'll see the one inch square tube that supports the chunk of steel on its uh, aft end which is a, uh, gets attracted by the magnet. As we move the gear up and down you can see it moves up and down and when it reaches a horizontal position it contacts the magnet. Pretty much the same situation on the left hand side except the uh, gear, re gear door retract uh, piece is a little, is uh, fabricated in a slightly different manner. There's the longer pull tube that brings it up, brings the gear door up. The third important item to note is the bracket that is fastened to the gear door. Its pivot point is now three plus inches away from the hinge line and as you can see it's uh, considerably more robust than the standard brackets. The key point to recognize is that by moving that pivot point farther away from the hinge line you gain a, a much greater control over the gear door. I'll rotate the camera around and you'll see that we have exactly the same kind of bracket on the opposite door. Last thing to bring to your attention is the fact that the peg the singular peg that used to be located on the left hand uh, oleo, there is, it has a twin now on the right hand. They are about as identical as I can make them. Very precision fit and uh, much more robust in terms of the pins themselves. Each of these two pegs will engage the two, let's call them alligator jaws, which rotate upward and uh, lock things in place. Okay, now we're going to do a full retract and we're going to follow the pegs as they move up into the gear well. We're about to catch the, the uh, two alligator jaws. And there we go. Uh, that didn't go all the way up. Okay, we're only running 12 volts. It's quite amazing that the motor will draw it up with 12 volts. Now we're going to bring it down. You'll see the door is open, and then you'll see the gear come out. There you go. There you go. Okay, we're going to bring the uh, gear up and we're going to pause it at different points and try to show you uh, the mechanism in uh, closer action, if we can. Okay, that's the gear about to go into the doors, or past the doors. Uh, Brother Art's going to just uh, flash it up by little bursts. And what you should notice is that the gear, the, the uh, wheels have good clearance and are inside before the gear doors uh, come up. There's the first flash, another flash, another flash. Okay, notice that the gear doors, excuse me, the gear wheels are now pretty much in. The wheels are well inside now. Notice that the gear doors are not chasing them up as is the normal situation. And there we go. Both gears aren't coming up exactly parallel because we haven't uh, done any fine adjustment yet. Okay, now we're coming back down. Notice that the 
wheels did not push against the gear doors on the way down. Okay, this is a view of the right-hand uh, gear door. My brother is just pushing one gear door up. And you can see how it, the uh, magnet arm goes all the way up and then back down again very slowly so we can see the action. Once more, Art. You can see the magnet, uh, the steel piece holding uh, one inch square tube go up. It will contact the magnet. We haven't put the magnet in yet because we want to show you how this works. There you go.